so I sit down to read Leviticus. Uh huh. What should? How? What do I? What do I pay attention to, and what do I disregard? Okay. Yeah. So one, remember that we're. You, I would want to know. I would want to like. So if you're doing Leviticus, in that it, opening section is all about the sacrifices. Okay. okay? So throw that out. Like, well, no. I would want to go. All right. What's the spiritual principles that are there? Okay. Mm-hmm. So when it's talking about sacrificing to God as an act of worship. Okay, so what are my sacrifices I'm making to God presently as acts of worship, right? We we reference Romans 12, 1 in regards to like our whole being being an act of worship we're presenting mm-hmm. to God, like God hears my life, you know, and um, but I think there's also the spiritual, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to serve, I'm going to give, I'm going to, um, you know, share and proclaim and be a witness and these are all ways in which we sacrifice unto the Lord. Okay. Um, you know, going and worshiping together as a church family on Sunday morning. Um, and then there's... So not stuff like light my Xbox on fire. Right. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. Um, you know, and then again, we talked about earlier, like looking at this the sacrifices that were made for sin. And you just remember, man, Christ died for my sin. I don't have to kill all these animals. I don't have mm. to deal... You know, I... Like that sacrifice has been made Mm -hmm. and I just need to receive his forgiveness now. Okay. Um, And then the idea of looking at the rest of the Leviticus and and some of the crazy laws we've talked about before, you know, in Leviticus 18 or 19 and, Mm -hmm. and go, well, all right, what can I learn from these? Like what's God actually saying? And if it's about living in a way that's set apart, how am I living in a way that's set apart from the rest of the world? What are the things that are p- present in our modern day culture that if I don't participate in, it will make me actually look different to the rest of the world. But that can be a good thing where I can be a light to the mm-hmm. rest of the world in the way that I love or the way that I forgive or the way that I have joy or you know the way I just don't participate in these particular acts because I know that that's just the ways of the world. And I don't, I want to live in such a way that is honoring to God, honoring to the Lord and can be a light to the rest of the world. So I think as you, you read through Leviticus, you can do it in such a way that's gleaning these spiritual principles from the different instructions. 